take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of worry, stress or tension to feel like it's leaving your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in, notice your eyelids becoming more relaxed. And as you exhale, just close your eyes. And as they close, feel a wave of relaxation spreading over your body. That's it, deeper, deeper relaxed. As you breathe in, just imagine an intense feeling of relaxation going in through your nose and that relaxation spreading over your forehead, around your eyebrows, taking away any tension and feeling that tension melting away and leaving your body. So just by breathing in and breathing out, notice you're feeling deeper and deeper relaxed. That's it. I want you to focus all of your attention on the tip of your nose. Stare at that tip of the nose and really increase the concentration, the focus, the tension. Feel your eyes getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Then as you breathe in and breathe out, just release that tension in your eyes. And as you do so, you can position your body in a way to make you feel more relaxed, more comfortable. As your body relaxes, your imagination awakens. And I want you to imagine an incredible mountainous landscape. I want you to imagine you're towards the top of a mountain. Incredible views. You can see for miles. Nearby, I want you to imagine there is a cycle. Maybe a cycle that you recognize. Next to the cycle is a comfortable chair. Perhaps one of those reclining chairs that lean back and feel so relaxed. And I want you to imagine placing yourself on that recliner there on a mountainside next to a bike. I want you to see that it's a sunny day. Feel the sun on your skin as you lie there in that relaxing reclining chair. Body feeling relaxed. Arms and legs feeling limp, loose and heavy. And feel what it would feel like to sink into that chair. To allow your conscious mind, your physical body not just to relax, but to deeply relax. Breathing in and breathing out. And very soon I'm going to count down from five to one. With each descending number, your physical body will feel more and more relaxed, but your imagination will feel like it's leaving your body. Five. A wave of relaxation going across all the muscles in your face. Relaxing your jaw, your temple, even the tiny muscles around your nose and your ears. Four, that relaxation spreading now into your neck and your shoulders, creating a desire to yawn. That's it. Three, arms just feeling limp, loose, heavy, almost like there's gravity weighing you down there into that chair. Two, as you breathe in, even your internal organs start to release any stress, tension or anxiety. Lungs relax, stomach relax, your gut relaxes. And you can release a lot of that tension you've been holding on to. And then one, that relaxation goes all the way into your legs. 
legs feeling limp, loose, heavy. Feeling so relaxed on that chair as your imagination leaves your body and starts to get on that bike. You're now on the bike looking back, seeing your physical body there in a chair, a comfortable chair, as you decide to cycle. A wonderful feeling of contentment that the emotion of cycling isn't arduous, no hard work, this is enjoyable. Those times that you're freewheeling down the side of a mountain feel free. And when you're exerting effort to climb a gradient, the challenge makes you feel strong and powerful. Whatever happens, the emotions are positive. And I want you to imagine you've been cycling for a while to the point that you can cycle without thinking about cycling. In the same way that you've had many times that you've gone on long walks and before long you've got lost in a daydream within your own imagination where you forgot you were walking at all. The walking was just happening by itself and right now imagine the cycling is happening by itself. Surrounded by nature, surrounded by incredible things, feeling a sense of wonderful freedom. And what you're cycling, for some reason, on the side of the road, you keep seeing archery targets. It feels strange for you that archery targets would be on the side of a road, particularly out in the middle of nowhere. But you continue to see them. And it puts an idea in your head that the bullseye of this archery target is a particular weight that you would like to be. Something about hitting that target feels desirable, motivating, compelling. So as you breathe in and out and cycle in this incredible nature, I want you to feel a magnetic pull towards your target weight. And maybe for you that target weight is 16 stone. A bullseye in the archery of your life's journey, always drawing you closer. I want you to imagine that there are things that you can do in your life that naturally take you towards that target. Certain foods that you eat, they get you closer to the target. And certain foods that you eat that take you further away. There are certain portion sizes that get you closer to that target. And certain choices that get you further away. And I want you to imagine that as much as your target weight is a bullseye, so are the choices that you make. Those mornings you wake up and exercise is you hitting the bullseye. Those times when you eat small portions of healthy food, that's you hitting the bullseye. The bullseye can be the choices, not just the destination. So envision yourself basking the glow of accomplishment. Each and every time you engage in physical activity, feeling motivated and driven. That refreshing energy of morning exercise cascades through your day, giving you momentum and drive to make healthy choices for the rest of the day. You are the master of your desires, fully in control. 
with the freedom to choose any food or drink. Yet finding that every time you make something healthy, it gives you a feeling of satisfaction, victory, almost like seeing an arrow hit the very center of the bullseye. Experience a surge of satisfaction each time you opt for the healthier choice. A testament to your commitment to your weight goal, but finding that there is pleasure in the pursuit, not just the outcome. And every moment you decide to refrain from a particular food or drink, it fills you with a sense of carefree ease, proud of your easygoing decisions. Isn't it good to break free from the shackles of restrictive diets and embrace a life of healthy, fulfilling choices that constantly move you towards your target? And as you journey towards this target of 16 stone, feel the liberating sensation of moving closer to your goal with each passing day, each useful, helpful, empowering choice. Because your weight goal is not a fleeting destination. It's an ongoing commitment. In your life, there's certain things that don't stop. As a parent, you can have a day where you feel like you're a great dad, but it doesn't stop you being a dad the next day. As is the same with this commitment to an ideal weight. consider it a commitment, a responsibility, just a standard that you have in living your life, that when you get there you can feel content, but you can also enjoy the journey toward that target. Maybe you consider it just a preference, a preference that doesn't need a diet, just the intention to make healthy choices. Each choice could be a bullseye, being on the target, or missing completely. But even if you miss, you have a feedback loop making the very next choice easier to be more accurate. Every day your unconscious mind acts as your compass effortlessly guiding you towards decisions that align with your weight goal. And you could imagine the bullseye of 16 stone glowing brighter each day, serving as a constant reminder of your dedication to your health and wellness journey. And what if you were able to feel the empowering realization that there's no finish line almost like a thermostat. Once you get to your target, the objective is to maintain it. And you could maintain that by continuing your ongoing commitment to being your best, healthiest self. There'll come a time in your life where You won't have the mobility to run, cycle, exercise. So there's a wonderful feeling of gratitude that this is something you get to do. The joy of movement fills your heart each day. Knowing that every step, every stretch, every lift brings you closer to your desired weight. And I want you to imagine 
glimpsing into your future. Visualize the radiant energy as you imagine yourself in your future being at that 16 stone mark. You can see yourself smiling, see that body shape, maybe see the weight on the scales. But rather than a rapturous victory, you don't treat it like a finish line, you treat it that this is home. This is the way you're meant to be. There is more of an expression of contentment and peace at that weight rather than a celebratory victory. Because that celebratory victory implies it's a finishing line and it isn't. 16 stone is your home. The weight that you can feel most content most relaxed and if you happen to gain a few pounds after that your mind just like a compass will steer you back towards that weight knowing that that's the weight that you feel content acceptance and peace because there's a freeing sensation in knowing that you can have any food or drink Yet the choice to choose health and wellness, to move towards what makes you feel content and peaceful, feels better than any short-term gratification or short-lived indulgence. Being the best you feels better than any food can ever taste. To see that future version of you with your ideal weight and ideal body shape and feel the pull of that image guiding your actions decisions and desires that the vision of you in your future is the bullseye that's what you're gravitating towards and each morning as you engage in exercise feel the vibrant momentum pushing you forward, magnetizing you towards that future, giving your day a kickstart of positivity and focus. But it's not about restrictions, it's about choice. And you can celebrate the joy of choice. Every decision is a choice, and every decision you make is a step closer to your goal. And if you decide to do things that take you away from the goal, they are fleeting and temporary before future choices guide you back. The unconscious is gravitating you towards that ideal weight for your body shape. Honing in on that bullseye. And you can embrace the truth and Maintaining your ideal weight is an ongoing acceptance and celebration of the commitment you've made to yourself. And then step into that future version of you where you feel what it would feel like to already be 16 stone. Feel the confidence, the self-esteem. Feel that there is less weight so when you move you can move more easily. Feel a sense of pride and satisfaction that you had to work hard for this, you earned this, and all the benefits that come, the improved sleep, the confidence, all of those wonderful feelings that come from doing something difficult, is what makes this place feel like home. So even if you leave home for a while, The desire is to return, to return to that ideal weight, the weight where you feel at your best, the bullseye. Breathe in and breathe out and feel like you're now cycling back, back to where there is a comfortable chair and a sleeping version of your conscious mind. Maybe feel the satisfaction of 
climbing gradient, feeling that it feels good to move forward. And then imagine parking the bike, getting off, and feeling that you're already at the weight you want to be. And because it feels good, that's why it's the bullseye that you're motivated to get back to. Allow your imagination to leave the physical body and enter that version of you sleeping on a chair. And all of these resources, this freedom, contentment, not a rigid obsession, but a carefree, easygoing desire to make great choices is connected now to your physical body. But even that version of you on the chair is just a thought within a thought. An idea within an idea, a dream within a dream as you now return to the present. Connecting with your physical body here, now, listening to my voice as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feel like you're connecting fully in the present, in the moment as I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you. You will awaken motivated, enthusiastic, eager to make more progress and seeing the choices you make daily is like hitting bullseyes in this game of your life, starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6, more alert. 7, 8, open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10, wide awake. Wide awake, wide awake.